Most businesses don't realize this, but they're already invisible. Not to Google, but to AI. You see, the future isn't just about ranking on Google anymore. It's about being retrieved by platforms like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, and every other major AI that's eating up the internet. I signed up and tested 10 different AI visibility tools to figure out what's actually tracking the stuff that really matters across LLM models. Here are the top five AI visibility trackers I personally think is worth the investment right now. Number one on my list is Peak AI. And what this tool does is that reverse engineers what LLM models know about your brand across all LLM platforms. And what it does is it probes AI engines with prompts and tracks how your content gets cited. Here are some use cases for this. You can run entity checks, for example, your name, product, services, discover where your content is being paraphrased or quoted in AI responses exactly. You can also detect hallucinations, for example, AI claiming knowledge that's actually not true versus accurate citations. You can also track AI generated summaries tied back to your content themes. I would think of Peak AI as like your search console for AI because you literally get insights into how tightly your brand is woven into the AI web. Next one on my list here is AI Karma. These guys actually reached out to me like a while back and I didn't get a chance to like really check them out. And I got a chance to really check this tool out and take a look at it. This is also another dashboard for brand visibility across multiple LLM engines, tracking your AI impression share and how your content is being leveraged by an AI. Some of the use cases for this particular tool will be monitoring retrieval frequency across Perplexity, Claude, Bing, Copilot, etc. other LLM models. You can compare your AI visibility to your competitors. You can identify which content pieces are getting most AI citations. And you can detect patterns for any hallucinations or misattribution involving your brand. One thing that I really like about this tool is you get an LLM footprint matrix, which you can act on pretty quickly to redirect content, refine authority, and close citation gaps. The next tool here is SEMrush. A lot of people are familiar with the name. SEMrush traditionally is a SEO tracking tool, but recently they've implemented AI tracking as well. Not only they're able to track the LLMs across uh, different platforms, but they're also able to track the Google AI overviews. Even though some of the other tools that I mentioned, they can also do the same thing, but SEMrush exclusively focuses on the AI overview since they're originally a SEO tool tracking success across Google. Google. One thing that I do like about this tool is that you get both sides of the world. You get the organic rankings from Google and what's indexed and ranked on Google, also the AI overviews and other LLM models. Another thing that I really like about this tool is that it alerts to you when your content is actually being pulled into the AI answer snippets. And it also gives you the opportunity to optimize your content for the AI answer visibility, not just blue link clicks. So basically in summary, you're able to track the Google side of the rankings and also what LLM models know about your brand. The next tool on my list is Profound AI. And I would say this tool is pretty much best for enterprise level AI visibility tracking. It also combines prompt signals plus traditional SEO data, kind of like SEM Rush. It also helps you uncover unknown prompts your brand should own. It is a good tool and based on my testing, it has a good data. To give you some better details here, I put together a table analysis that allows you to see the two strengths, what it excels at, best for, ideal use cases, limitations, and things to watch out for. Starting with a pig AI, um, it's got a deep LLM prompt analysis, entity checks, citation detection, which is at strengths. This is literally best for brands that want to map exactly how LLMs perceive them. And, and here's the limitations and things to watch out for. It is premium pricing and there is learning curve in a prompt setup. An entire software could look a little bit clustery. Now with AI Karma, you get a dashboard view of AI visibility across different engines and it gives you data into AI impression share. It is best for monitoring your brand's footprint across multiple different LLMs. One thing that it does lack, and this is my understanding, it lacks the deep prompt level detail. 
Next one is SEM Rush AI Mo Tracker. It does bridge the traditional SEO plus AEO by tracking the AI appearances in the search engine ranking pages. A lot of people are already using this, especially SEO agencies, freelancers, and even some businesses. And now the AI is incorporated into it. In terms of limitations, it doesn't have all the LLM models. It can also lag um, as they're literally like rolling this whole thing out right now. And another thing is, and everybody doesn't like this about SEM Rush, but they try to upsell you every step of the way to see, oh, you want to see a little more data? Okay, pay more money. You want to see a little bit more here? Pay more money. Even if you're using it like one time, you got you to gotta subscribe and upgrade your plans over and over and over. And a lot of people find that annoying. Next one is Profound AI. It's got an advanced prompt and citation analytics and uh, discovery of untapped prompts, which is very useful. This is best for, you know, enterprises like I mentioned earlier or content-driven brands optimizing for LLM citation. It is on a higher cost and it does require onboarding and uh, setup. Now with a whole AI, it's on a lighter side, right? It's a lightweight. Uh, it's got prompt tracking, mentions, idea generation, this is best for like agency startups or, you know, those who are starting with AI visibility. And in terms of limitations, it just has less depth compared to the other uh, AI tracking tools and it covers fewer LLM models. I just wanted to put this quickly because these tools stood out out of all the tools that I tested. And in the next coming videos, I'm going to be doing an in-depth breakdown review of every single one of these tools. I'm going to gut them out one by one and put together like a guide style video review. Some of these tools can be expensive for some people. So just to save you guys time and money, I'm going to be the one taking all the risk. Also, here's the deal with this thing, right? This is like when SEO tools first launched. The smart ones paid attention. The the rest got outranked. But now in this time of era, it's not about keywords anymore. It's about entity recall, memory slots, retrieval priority. If you're not tracking how AI perceives you, you're not in the game. You're just a ghost. And guess what? Ghosts don't get clicks. They also don't get visibility. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop me a like, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And if there is any tools that you've tested that I have not mentioned in here that I should pay attention to, please let us know.